Well, Jonathan Arnott is the Sheffield spokesperson and General Secretary of UKIP nationally. I asked him what this result means for the party. Well, we are absolutely delighted to win a by-election in an area where we didn't even stand in 2012. That is absolutely staggering, and that really shows just how far UKIP have come. UKIP have got a lot to offer to former Labour voters. There are a lot of disillusioned Labour voters out there, and UKIP are a party that really does stand up for ordinary working people. How much clout do you have, though, UKIP? Is there a lot of clout these days, or are you just a protest party? I think we really do. You look at the opinion polls and you see the opinion poll for ICM that shows UKIP as being on 18% of the vote, double the Lib Dem share of the vote. That really says that there are an awful lot of people who are out there planning to vote UKIP. And we're seeing this in elections time and time again. We saw it in the county council elections across the country where UKIP were taking 23% of the vote. This isn't what you get from a minor party. This is something different. UKIP are achieving something something that that no so-called minor party has achieved before. There are only so many one-offs you can have before you have to actually start to admit that UKIP is achieving something. You look at a poll by Servation which showed that UKIP have the opportunity to take up to eight seats at the general election. Now that's based on UKIP's popularity at the moment, but we're growing in popularity. If we continue to do so, then it could well be very much more than that. Got some strange members. There has been a surge in popularity, as you said, but UKIP members have been at the centre of some stories in the press, haven't they? Um, with connections with far-right parties. I mean, there's Alex Wood, isn't the candidate in Somerset, suspended from the party over claims he made a Nazi salute, which he denied, but there is this in the press that seems to attach you to the far-right. Well, I think that's absolutely ridiculous. UKIP as a party says, if you are a former member of the BNP, if you're a member of the EDL, or of any of those extremist organisations, we don't want you. Those people are not allowed to join UKIP. UKIP are making it absolutely clear, we do not want those kinds of people within our party, and we will not accept them. Nigel Farage, he's admitted your party don't have resources to check the backgrounds of everybody standing for election on a UKIP ticket. That is a bit worrying, isn't it? You put in 1,800 candidates into the field. Every single one of those has signed a candidate declaration stating that they have never been a member of any of those extremist organisations. And, of course, what you are expecting is that local branches are doing that kind of vetting themselves. UKIP doesn't have the resources to do that nationally, but, frankly, Labour and the Conservatives don't do that nationally either. UKIP has been under investigation by Conservatives, by other groups. They've dragged things up from the previous five years on, on Facebook, Twitter. They've gone back and they've really delved into candidates' personal lives in a way that has never happened before for any party whatsoever. So I think, actually, if that had happened to Labour or Conservative or Lib Dems, I think they'd have found more than 0.3% of their candidates with something that needed looking into. What do you make of the treatment of Nigel Farage in Scotland then? He had to take refuge in a pub because the crowd was so angry with him. Well, first of all, it was a, it was a staged protest quite clearly. What I find is astonishing on that protest is the anti-English sentiments which were being expressed. That kind of racism has no place in British politics. He called them fascist scum. Is that what leaders say? Well, anybody who seeks to prevent proper, reasoned political debate, anybody who says that it is not OK for you to have freedom of speech, for you to express your views, that I think they should come in for some pretty stern criticism.